Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to use the premium internal generator function. So with this function we don't need to use Arduino anymore, we just need a small amplifier. In this video I will show you how it works and how to assemble this metal detector. If we are using this premium function it's very easy to build because we just need an amplifier, a coil and a smartphone. The link of this amplifier you can find in the description of this video. So where is this premium function? This premium function in the general settings. Ok, let's open general settings and there is internal generator and change the frequency of the internal generator. Here we can change the frequency of the generator. But keep in mind, when you activate the internal generator, the sound is deactivated. When the sound is deactivated, you can get the sound notification about the target. This is because we are using the sound channel to generate the signal for the transmitter coil. So when we use the internal generator, we can get the sound notification about the target. We just get a notification by the vibration of the smartphone. If you are using Arduino, so with Arduino you can uh, get the sound notification. But with the internal generator we can get just the vibration. Here we can set the frequency of the internal generator. I will set this frequency. So, this is 5500 Hz. Ok, now we can open the Smart Hunter and start. Ok, this is internal generator, but the signal of the internal generator is low. This is why we need an amplifier. This is very cheap amplifier. I get this amplifier in AliExpress shop. You can get the link in the description of this video. I get one pack with 10 amplifiers. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe two dollars. Ok, you can get this amplifier. You don't need to use Arduino, you don't need to use MOSFET, uh, you just use internal generator and amplifier, this amplifier and nothing more. Ok, it's very easy. And this is another amplifier with a capacitor. This is a mono amplifier and I'm using this stereo amplifier because it's cheapest. I don't know the quality of this amplifier but for now they work fine. Ok, and now I will show you how it works. This is the amplifier. I connect this amplifier to the transmitter coil. So, and here we have input of the power, 5 volts, and we have input from smartphone, input of signal from internal generator. If you choose amplifier with capacitor, you don't need to do nothing, just connect this amplifier to the transmitter coil. But uh, this is cheapest amplifier without capacitor, we need to put a capacitor. Let's look it closer. This is my amplifier without capacitor. I put a capacitor 1 microfarad. The capacitor connected in series with the transmitter coil. So in this amplifier we have input output and input of the power 5 volts. Uh, if we use this amplifier, stereo amplifier, we have left channel, right channel and for output also left channel and right channel. I have connected to the left channel, so output I have to take from the left channel also. In the receiving coil everything still the same. We have a capacitor for protecting the smartphone we have two diodes and we have a resistance so this is the same like we used before ok this is connect to the smartphone I have a connector with four pins this is connector ok this is connector with four pins I have ground mic and sound channel. Here I take the sound channel from the smartphone.
from my connector. Here from this connector I will have the signal from the internal generator. This is signal will go through amplifier and after it's go to the transmitter coil. So now let's connect. I will show you how it works. Let's connect and let's take on the power. The first we will connect the amplifier to the sound channel of the smartphone and now connect the power of the amplifier. Okay. Start the generator. Okay, and now metal detector working. Okay, this is the gold ring. To increase sensibility, please turn volume up to the maximum. Okay, now it's work better. We have more sensibility. If you want to increase more sensibility, you have to set up the resonance frequency in the booth coils. I didn't set up the resonance frequency because I just testing. But with this sensibility, we can detect gold ring and 50 centimeters.